Today I'll talk about the price of free marketing and this is a Monday thought starter just for you. Every once in a while I talk to a business owner that will tell me that they want to use social media to market their business because after all it's free. Of course the term free is kind of relative. Yes Facebook, Instagram and co are technically free at least at the very basic level except for they take time and talent and then time for the word to spread all of which are costs that can't be expressed in dollars and cents, at least at first. By the way, I see this more with smaller businesses that aren't always used to accounting for things like time, opportunity cost, or fixed overhead. With many of our bigger, more established clients, we tend to work with budgets. If I reduce an ad budget in the newspaper by $20,000 a year, I can now spend that money on social media, both content creation and on reach. And truly, as long as my money brings better returns than what we got from the newspaper, I delivered. In short, free takes work. Not saying that you can become famous just by throwing money at it, but it takes much less talent. If you want proof of that, look no further than a few recent political campaigns that spent millions of dollars, gave someone a ton of extra exposure, but ultimately fell short of the mark. On the flip side, I think we all know a few people that try to do it all themselves to save a few bucks and basically keep spinning their wheels because marketing can't be an afterthought to your business. Bringing customers in the door is probably one of the most important things a business can do. Getting good at marketing takes, again, time. But if you're working with zero budget, you might have to invest that time. The magic happens somewhere in the middle, where work meets budgets and great content is leveraged with marketing dollars. I said the other day uh, to think of your social media ad spend as digital postage for your content to reach the right people. If you think about it, in the old days you might write a sales letter or a newsletter and mail it to a mailing list that you would buy. None of that was cheap by the way. Now we tell Facebook or Google to find us people that like our stuff for free as long as we're willing to advertise with Facebook or Google or whomever. Just remember that at the end of the day no platform is your friend and they will kick you off, sell you out, do whatever because their job is to make money. To guard against that, you always want to be building a list that's yours, email or maybe even text message, because if Facebook decides to, uh, tomorrow that your business is now persona non grata, ban your page, cancel your ad account, you can email or text all your fans and followers and tell them you're now on some other platform or have them go to your site directly. Especially right now, Paid marketing is cheaper than it's been in a long time. Many companies have pulled out of their marketing campaigns to save on ad dollars until later, leaving a buyer's market. If your business is financially in the position to do so and you're building, right now is the time to spend on the things that put you in a better position in the long run. Build an audience or fill your funnel and you'll be glad you did. Anyways, that's it for today. Of course, I'll see you for Trends on Thursdays later in the week. Until then, I'm Tobias Wilhelm.